Welcome back to Las Vegas. Mike Trudell down courtside with Rob Palenka, the general manager of the Lakers. Rob, it's been a busy couple of weeks for you. Let me start you with what you've seen on the court for these last couple of weeks from the Summer League squad. You know, I think I've both mostly been proud of how the team's taken on the mentality of Luke and Miles Simon, the head coach, just playing with toughness, D defense first. Um, we're really, really proud of the way the guys are playing. So you got Josh Hart with the 30th pick last year, Rob, which is one that you had traded to Utah after acquiring it in a previous trade. How much has he emerged over this course of the season where he earns the MVP tonight? You know, when guys start playing and the game looks easy to them, that's when you know they've really advanced. Um, and Josh is just making it look easy. He's playing with uh, just a, 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 an even-keeled pace, getting to the rim when he wants to, making threes, defense first. And, uh, you know, Magic and I were flying here tonight and just feeling so fortunate and blessed that, you know, we drafted Kyle Kuzma. 27, he was uh, player of the year in the summer league, and now Josh Hart, like you said, 30th pick, player of the year in summer league, back to back. It's a proud moment for Lakers fans, for our scouting department, for us. You know, we're, we're really excited. Now moving to this draft, we got to look at Mo Wagner before he had the knee contusion. Robin, now Svi gets named all NBA uh, summer league second team. You got him at number 47, so uh, you have to be pretty pleased with that as well, I would assume. Yeah, you know, Svi is... Uh, Obviously, everyone sees his shooting craft, um, but the thing that Magic and I and Jesse Buss and the scouts liked is he doesn't back down from challenges. You, you can see him defending bigger guys out here, and I think with uh, you know the elite talent we have at the Lakers level now, he's going to get open looks when guys like LeBron drive the lane, Brandon Ingram get into creases. To have a shooter like that that can also defend is a, is a nice asset for us. It's been a little bit now, uh, not long, but since you got LeBron, have you reflected uh, uh, since that time as you start to think about what next year is going to be like, Rob? You know, it's when, when, a, when a big event like that happens, you kind of go back to the start of the journey. And um, again, Irvin and I were talking on the, on the plane ride here about when we first you know, started working for Jeannie and the Bus family, we looked at our cap and didn't have any flexibility. We looked at our draft picks, a lot of them were traded away, and we said, hey, we just got to start playing smart chess and to lead to a moment like that where we can now move our team, get the best player in the world and move to an elite level of competition. And we love the cast we've assembled around LeBron too. And Luke and Magic and I are over there on the sideline just talking about all the different lineups and versatility we have. So it's going to be an incredible year. Last one for you, quick, Rob. Once you get LeBron, how much are you thinking about putting the pieces together for the next season, but also maintaining that flexibility because you know they're going to be more free agents in 2019? How do you serve that dual purpose? You know, when LeBron chose to come to the Lakers, that was the next step in our ultimate journey to win to win the next championship for the Lakers franchise. And there's work to be done. You know, we're not going to quit. We're not going to rest. We're not going to stop working. Um, and I think having that flexibility to continue to build the roster next July. But we're not looking to next July. We're looking to next season for when training camp opens. Um, I was with Lonzo today, um, had a very successful uh, scope on his knee. We're really excited to have that behind us. And he's in a great space. So uh, we're really thinking about camp and why not try to you know, compete to win a title next year. That's got to be our focus. Hey, Rob, thanks for the time. We'll let you go back and watch the game. All right, Mike. Good to see you.